Right now at 5.30, new vaccination sites for Floridians run by the feds. Regency will continue to be run by the state, but a new site in Jacksonville's Gateway Mall will be a federal one, meaning FEMA, the U.S. Department of Defense, as well as the National Guard will be running it. Meanwhile, Pfizer announced it'll begin clinical trials of its COVID-19 vaccine with pregnant women. This is a first-of-its-kind trial that includes expected mothers. If you are pregnant, you are at higher risk of developing severe COVID infection um, than if you were not pregnant. A study finds pregnant women are at a 70% higher risk for COVID-19 infection, suggesting those pregnant should be broadly prioritized for vaccination. News for Jacks reporter Zach Lajway is talking with a pregnant Jacksonville physician on why she opted to get the vaccine. I am 25 weeks, so I'm due in May. Dr. Priyanka Vijapora is pregnant with a girl. Her name is Sona. Dr. Vija Pora received her first Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine in December when she was 16 weeks pregnant. The first dose I did have uh, the expected side effects. But had no side effects after the second dose. Being pregnant, were you hesitant to receive the vaccine? You know, at first I was. And then around early December, ACOG put out a statement uh, basically totally eradicating any any concerns that I had. So even though we don't have evidence in pregnant women at this point, uh, that was very reassuring to me, especially trying to weigh my risk and benefit with, you know, I'm seeing patients in the hospital with COVID every day. Agreeing with Dr. Vijapura. The vaccine has no live or dead components of the virus, so it cannot cause you to get sick. Is infectious disease specialist, Dr. Mohamed Reza, the medical director for Can Community Health. The reality is you want that protection throughout the entire pregnancy period. Is there an opportune time for women who are pregnant to get the vaccine during their pregnancy? So the heightened state of immune system lasts for the first 12 weeks of pregnancy to allow for the fetus to get fully established. Over the following 15 weeks, the mother's immune system is repressed. During that time period, women have a higher risk of having a viral or a bacterial or any sort of infection because their immune system is a bit weaker. People watching this right now, they're going to argue there's no research, there's no evidence on this matter. What is your best argument? What do you want them to know? My best argument is I, I agree, and I agree with you wholeheartedly. We don't, but we do have data showing that people who are pregnant have a worse outcome and a lot higher rate of death when infected with this virus. Dr. Reza is encouraging women to talk with their doctors about their risk and exposure to COVID-19. Dr. Reza says we can anticipate results and evidence from Pfizer's clinical trial within the next 6 to 12 months. Joy.